Hey guys, it's Ashley, and today I'm going to be giving you my top five favorite scenes from City of Glass. <laughs> this video is gonna be more like top five favorite scenes plus honorable mention scenes that probably could have been top favorite scenes, but I had to pick five because I told myself I was, you know, limiting myself to just the five but then I couldn't like leave the extra scenes out, so honorable mentions will be mentioned at the end. And what really surprised me was that my top scenes don't include Sebastian like at all. A majority of my honorable mentioned ones do, like don't get me wrong, I, Sebastian is still my favorite. I'm not gonna hold this up. I know I hold this up during all of my book talks, but this, this, book, is, this book is heavy, I'm not holding this up. I also wanna mention before I get into any of this that if you have not read City of Glass, do not watch this video because this is going to be spoilers for City of Glass, like the entire video. I mean, there, there's no way that I could do a non-spoilery section. It's the third book in the series and I'm talking about my favorite scenes. So if you haven't read it yet, don't come back until like you have. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was the Wayland Manor scene. The scene where Jace and Clary are riding to the Wayland Manor to get the Book of the White for Magnus. Or they portaled there, I think. One of those two, I can't remember. And they find Ethereal in the dungeon and they get the visions and they're nothing like the shitty vision that we see in the show. And then that's when Jace realizes that he has demon blood even though he doesn't have demon blood and he's such an idiot. And then we have that like awesome makeout scene right afterward, but then of course Clary goes goes, would you still feel this way about me if you didn't think you had demon blood and Jace like doesn't answer and you just want to slap him? That scene went from really 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 good to like really 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 bad. But honestly it's still one of my favorites. And the scene also sets up the fact that there was somebody with demon blood. Valentine did experiment with demon blood and so now Jace thinks that it's him and we're gonna find out that it's not him. The scene sets the plot up for the moment, you know, toward the end. The next scene I wanted to talk about is another clay scene. Because like I said, I am clay's trash. This is the scene where Jace comes into Clary's bedroom the night before he is going to go off and try to find Sebastian and he tells her, look, I love you, I will love you until the day I die, and if there's a life after that, I will love you then. And I just, the tears are just pouring down my face, and I just can't take it, because it's just so cute, and Jace is like, we don't have to do anything, we might die tomorrow, I just want to lay with you tonight, because I might never get the chance to do it again. And the, the tears and the sobbing and the crying, though I didn't actually cry because I already knew the scene was coming, but still, the metaphorical tears. My third favorite scene is the one where Clary stands up in front of the clave and tells them like it is. She goes, look, you have to put aside your differences, you have to put aside your prejudice, and you have to put this rune on a downworld or so you can share their powers because if you don't, we are all gonna die. And she just, she tells it like it is. She slaps him in the face and she goes, do this or you will die. Everybody just underestimates Clary. So this was just, this was the point where the clay was put in its freaking place and I was just so, so happy about that. The fourth scene I wanted to mention was when Jocelyn finally tells Clary her story. It took you long enough. Like you came back in like the middle of the book and you wait until like three quarters into the book to actually tell Clary the whole story. Like this is when Clary finds out that Sebastian is her brother and that Jace is not her brother and that Jace has angel blood and Sebastian has demon blood and like Jocelyn's story like basically just sets the whole plot straight you know the ending happened and the last scene that is in my top five favorite is the last fight scene when Valentine is on the beach Clary portals into the Lake Glen Jace comes along and Valentine kills him Valentine literally kills Jace when I first read this when I first read the book I had not expected it at all it was such such a powerful moment because Valentine sacrifices his son for the good of the cause. Like that just goes to show you how much Valentine believes in this and how much Valentine believes that this is the right path to go down. But then of course Raziel comes up, he summons him, and Raziel puts him in his place. Like Raziel is like, what do you think you're doing? That's not what you're doing. You are just, you are as rotten as them all, and he kills him. And it's one of the best scenes of the book, to be completely honest, because nobody, nobody likes Valentine. And then Clary brings Jace back, and it's, it's so great. It's so, when Clary draws that rune in the sand and replaces Valentine's name with hers, and that way she can give the order to Raziel to raise Jace back. Oh, I did it. So honorable mention scenes. Okay, 
First one I want to mention is when Clary first gets into Idris and she goes straight for the Penhollow's house. Jace and her have this screaming match. This scene just really emphasizes what the one thing that I don't like about Jace. Jace always feels like he needs to punish himself for feeling the way that he does about Clary. He always feels like if he hurts the people that he loves, then he's gonna feel like shit about himself and that will be punishment enough. But in reality, you're just hurting the people you love. So is that really like your punishment. This next one isn't really a scene so much as just like a quote in the book. I love it when Sebastian is walking Clary back to Amatisa's house and Sebastian like says something. I'm not even sure what he said. I forgot. And Clary goes, I'm glad you want to get to know me, but I just don't have the energy to get to know you. <laughs> like, who says that? Of course, the scene when Sebastian takes Clary to the Fairchild Manor is, you know, one of my favorites. Not because of the kiss, because I do not want Clary and Sebastian together at all. That's just... No. He takes her to the Fairchild Manor and it's like the one moment where even though they don't know it yet, like that's the place where they connect. They are Jocelyn Fairchild's children. Him taking Clary to the Fairchild Manor, it's kind of like the connecting thread. It's a place where family was and the fact that Sebastian feels something so different than what Clary does when he's there. You know, Sebastian is feeling disgust, you know, because Jocelyn did not want him. Jocelyn thought that he was, you know, a demon baby, which he was. And Clary is feeling, you know, longing for wanting to know her family and sadness for knowing that, you know, they're pretty much dead. When Alec finds Magnus fighting when Sebastian let all of the demons in and the first thing that he says to him is, why didn't you call me back? Oh my god, I love that scene and I really, really love the scene where they're putting the Alliance rune on the Downworlders and the Shadowhunters in the Accords Hall and Alec just goes up to Magnus and just kisses him just right then and there in front of everybody in the clave. I just, that part hands down was absolutely incredible and I loved it. And honestly, that part should be in one of my top five favorite scenes. So now I have to rethink this. And then of course there are a couple of other scenes that I'm just gonna mention, but I'm not going to go into any detail on. There's a scene where Hodge is killed and the scene where Isabel is talking to Clary right before Jocelyn comes back. Of course, when Jocelyn comes back is a huge moment. And then of course, when Jace finds Sebastian and Valentine in the cave and Jason and Sebastian start fighting and Sebastian almost kills Jason and Isabel. Like that is a huge moment. But all in all, I loved every single one of these scenes very, very, very much. And this book is definitely one of the best books in the series by far. And so those are all of my favorite scenes in City of Glass. If you guys have a favorite scene, please let me know down below because I'd love to share. And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.